Hi guys. This morning and day was rather complicated for me because I have held another part of tests. My idea was to shoot 40 grain slugs with rather high velocities, about 300 meters per second if it's possible, and to have perfect accuracy. Probably some of you know, if you watched my previous videos, that I've got some, I would say, ideal accuracy with uh, rather standard barrel of FX, it's uh, STX, superior heavy. The accuracy was sub-MOA by several groups to 150 yards distance, and as for me it's just perfect, I didn't need anything else. But I wanted to have more flat trajectory and ballistics of the projectile, and that's why I wanted to increase my velocity of my slug. It's 40 grain, 22 caliber, Russian Katusha slug that I like very much and I've won a lot of competitions with uh, these slugs and that's my favorite ones. I've got my best results uh, during shooting at 275 meters per second in previous duration of this uh, gun so to say when I didn't make any adjustments uh, on standard FX impact M3 uh, the only thing was changed is the probe it was the pin probe and pin style probe and then I decided to go to higher speeds I had to make new um, hammer weight now it's uh, 8.5 grams and that allowed me to get 300 meters per second and even 305 meters per second with 800 millimeter barrel you know, today I've made tests with very different modifications of that barrel. First of all, uh, it was a barrel with standard FX shroud and with uh, carbon fiber input on it to make it more uh, firm. At the same time, I want to mention that my liner was put into a carbon fiber sleeve to make it also firm. And I tried this modification, I tried modification without moderator, I tried modification without uh, moderator shroud, I tried modification with naked barrel, I tried modification with naked barrel and uh, with carbon fiber tube on it uh, to make it more thick and more firm. I tried different velocities from 305 meters per second and down to 290 meters per second you know it was really good it was repeatable the accuracy was fine but it was not as excellent as this standard barrel gave to me to tell you the truth and I didn't see any reason to go uh, to lower velocities at that long barrel because uh, I know that this barrel just give me perfect results at 275 meters per second and there's no any sense in making the size of uh, the gun at 4 inches uh, or 10 centimeters longer if you don't gain any uh, speed increase with it and accuracy increase. That's why after 4 hours of experiments I started at 8 o'clock in the morning and finished first part of experiment at midday. Um, I decided to go back to my workshop to refill my air tank, to change the barrel and to continue my experiments. The weather was not fine at all, it was raining, it was windy, then there was a snow blast here and it was tough. <laughs> and finally I put my original STX Superior Heavy Barrel to my FX. I had to get rid of a barrel holder. I don't know what happened, but I think that this barrel just a little bit more thick than the 800 millimeter barrel and you know I just couldn't put it through barrel holder so I had to get it away and to put original FX part holding the barrel you know I like the fact that I could reach 295 and 297 meters per second with 700 millimeter barrel and I tried to shoot different velocities I didn't change any 
modification of barrel here because it has standard shroud it has my own custom made sound moderator and I tried different velocities from uh, 295 to 270 meters per second and as for now I can say that I finished my tests to 100 meters distance it's 110 yards distance because I found several velocities and several setups of uh, power wheel adjustment that are the best as for me those are 270 275 meters per second that I can reach at 5 power level here and those are 293 290 meters per second that are 14 and 15 on power wheel here well I can think I can say that the second part of experiment is over and the only part left for me to find out which is the best for me is to shoot 150 yards distance I will do it uh, next time I hope that weather will allow me to do it because you can see that now it's a bit sunny before it was cloudy so the weather is not fine today for those tests to tell you the truth but luckily those slugs are very heavy and uh, wind and rain and slow snow blast didn't affect them a lot so to say and again I'd like to mention that I don't use any valve spring here so no any valve spring here and I've got very stable velocities I'm very satisfied with it well today I've made a video of shooting with uh, my scope cam it's raspberry scope cam only I didn't uh, make any uh, side shooting uh, using uh, my camera because you know it's too much job of video editing to, to do I, I just really getting tired of it so I try to minimize my time spending for this project but I hope that everyone is interested in seeing what's going on through the scope but not from the side because you know just cocking and cocking up the gun and uh, pulling the trigger is not the most interesting th thing here so you will see all the details on the picture and I will probably I will try to announce some details by voice thanks for watching thanks for following my channel and thanks for your support guys see you bye
hundred seventy. <laughs> Thank you. 